Hey everyone, I'm Jane Reeves. Welcome to my show. Today I have a short overview of Freeze New York 2022. It's back in the shed at Hudson Yards in Lower Manhattan on the west side. The fair relocated here last year from Randall's Island. Those of you who remember, it used to be a ferry ride, quite enjoyable when the weather was nice. The old venue was even in the Guinness World Book of Records as the longest tented floor. The show is on three floors, six, four, and two. The organizers suggest starting from the top. With only 65 galleries, the new director of both LA and New York exhibitions, Christine Massinio says, the scale of the fair is now more intimate and very manageable. Level six, I see some familiar galleries. New York Gallery Karma, with several locations downtown. I always like the exhibitions. The Modern Institute, a Glasgow gallery. I met them back in February in Freeze, LA. Eva Pressenhuber, a Swiss gallery. Here is British gallery Sadie Cole's HQ from London. Level four. I recognize the approach, a gallery from East London. I interviewed them during Art Basel in Basel last year. And around the corner, there is frame section designated for young galleries less than 10 years old. Lubov Gallery from New York presents sculptures by Marsha Pels. Quite a popular booth. I saw the same guy in 2019. Another New York gallery called Lomax is displaying paintings by Kai Christensen Knowles. And the winner of the Frame Stand Prize is a gallery from Bogota, Colombia, Instituto de Vision. Level two, LA mid-size gallery, David Kordansky. And here are the big guys. David Zwerner, Carol Beauvais, striking orange sculptures. Pace, Moroccan artist, Latifa Echach. Stephen Friedman, mask sculptures by Jonathan Baldock and the Gagosian booth with a real dancing machine that sells Kafti, a caffeinated drink designed by German artist Albert Olin. They even provide you with complimentary tokens. You can buy taste engraved on them. And then I can put it in one of these bags for you. And the drink promises no more sleep. Special project, Zero Nukes, with zero slogans written in different languages serves as a warning, especially in the current unstable political situation about the danger of nuclear war. This is a book by Pedro Reyes, who's a Mexican artist, and he is raising awareness against the nuclear weapons. So we're working with the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists and Times Square Arts to make like a compound project, which is having an inflatable sculpture in Times Square that's nine meters tall, and it's going to be whole week, so for Tuesday till next Tuesday. And I saved the best for last. Here's camera shy Ken Castaneda, the company gallery's associate director. For our frame section, we present a booth, a solo booth by artist Kaiser von Zapel. Um, and so for this presentation at Freeze, she decided to recreate an old work that she made in 2009 called Messy Miners, which was replicating an orgy scene of these young punk teenagers. And so she decided to recreate this out of this new material that she's using, uh, which is silicone. And she starts to delve into this sci-fi fantasy world where these creatures kind of exist within their own world. And so the bed scene becomes this mix of different femme presenting figures who are larger than life. They have different sorts of limbs for toes. They, they're added with silicone products, sex toys, dollar store toys. All these kinds of different materials start to become one in the universe. And so the figure that's against a wall is its own standalone figure. Um, 
And so there are just kind of these new expressions of gender, these new expressions of lesbian femininity, these new expressions of queerness. And so all these things start to melt together in Kaiser's world. And if you're thirsty, head to the upstairs lounge for champagne or tequila and get a special treat of the Breguet watchmaker presentation. I did. This is a dial, it's like this. Uh, it's already prepared to be fixed. We use the guillochage to decorate and to give contrast because before it was enamel, it was baroque, and Breguet want very simple and very clear watch. This is yellow gold, guilloché, and after it's silver. Mm. And it's right in little small Swiss guilloché main by hand. You speak French? Un peu. Un peu. <laughs> voilà. Ici c'est marqué. Et on guilloche aussi toute la partie de la montre. We do some waves hein, because the dial move like this. And after they fix a blue lac for marine. We use a burin like engraver. It's specific for each patent. It's uh, a secret. Huh? But one thing is not a secret. A company's motto is in every woman is a queen. Until next freeze, I'm Jane Greaves. <laughs>